guys, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. Everyone is wrapping up the year and saying hello to the new one. I thought it would be a great time to share some of my favorite products. This is going to be a combination of products and brands that have come out in the past year and some that I have just recently found that I love. So if you want to see some of my favorite products from 2021, keep watching. start out by talking about some products from a brand that has been one of my favorites this year. Patrick Ta Beauty. If you don't know who Patrick Ta is, he's a very well-known celebrity makeup artist in the industry. He is known for his fluffy brows, his dewy skin, and his cosmetic line. So this brand did not launch this year, but they have come out with so many amazing products that have been incorporated into my everyday makeup routine. This is one that I have incorporated into every one of my makeup looks. I am just obsessed with this product. This is the Soft Sculpt Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. So on top you have a cream contour, and on the bottom you have a powder bronzer. So if you don't know how contour works, it is usually supposed to be a little bit more cool toned and it is used to chisel and define the face. And bronzer is usually a warmer tone and it is used to warm up the face. I have found it really difficult to find a contour that I like. I find either a lot of them are very gray and really on the cool tone spectrum or it is very orange and basically does the same thing as my bronzer. So I love the colors in this product. And I love how these two just complement each other. I think Patrick Ta really hit it with this product. I know his brand can be a little bit pricey. It is a little bit on the more expensive end, but I really do think you're getting your money's worth. I would have to say this is my most used contour and bronzer product of 2021. Now, sticking with the Patrick Ta brand, he also has these blush duos. This is the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. Patrick Ta is really great at mixing cream and powder products together. He always makes sure your makeup is locked in place for all day, but is also super dewy and glowy. And that's something that I just love about his makeup style. And like the contour and bronzer, on top we have a cream and on bottom we have a powder. And I love his blush colors. He is some of the prettiest ones I've seen. I love to just put a little bit of this powder blush on the skin and then to top it off with a little bit of the cream one. That way everything just melts so smoothly into the skin and I'm still looking glowy and youthful. So what I want to be set in place all day but still looking very dewy and glowy, I love to grab his products. Now again, from Patrick Tall Beauty, when I tell you this has definitely been one of my favorite brands of the year, I am not lying. I love his products. I cannot talk about them and say enough good things. He also has some amazing lip products. I am wearing his lipstick and lip liner in Oshi oh Single today. And this has been one of my favorite nudes of the year. I feel like it's perfect to just complement any look. I think his lipsticks are just so creamy and so smooth. They go on so nicely. They also last all day. I feel like I don't have to touch up as much with this. And his lip liners are the exact same way. They are so smooth, go on so nicely, and I never seem to have trouble with these products. He also has some fun other color lipsticks. This is one of my favorite dark shades. This is She Must Be New. I love wearing this when I'm going out for the night. My favorite hot pinks, this is She's Hard To Get. So I definitely grab his products a lot when I am going to do my makeup for the day. So next is some products that I have definitely talked about a lot on social media. You all know that this is one of my favorite foundations. This is the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. This foundation is, it's just so good. It has so much coverage, but it does not look too cakey on the skin. It looks really nice and natural and kind of skin-like and has a beautiful, nice, soft matte finish. I know some foundations look too matte, make you look dry and crusty, but this one definitely does not. They also have an amazing shade range, like, yes, go NARS. Also, to pair with that, I love their Soft Matte Complete Concealer. 
This pairs great with the foundation, but I also love it to spot conceal at the beginning of my makeup. Also from the NARS family, this is another foundation that I have been loving. This is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This winter, my skin has been getting a little bit drier, so I have loved switching over to this one from the Soft Matte. It has all the same amazing qualities of the last one that I was talking about, but it just has a more of a radiant finish. And I know so many people who rave about their foundations, and these are honestly some of the best that I think I have ever tried. I definitely will be keeping these in my makeup routine, for the new year. So I want to talk about one of the palettes that I was dying to get my hands on this year. This is the Nikki Tutorials X Beauty Bay palette. I know you probably all have this one. It sold out so quickly and everyone was so excited to get this. Now this packaging is definitely one of my favorites that I've seen in a long time. I think it screams Nikki. I love the kind of half and half vibe and I think it just gets me super excited to create and to play with eyeshadow. I love the range of colors, how there is mattes, there are shimmers, there is bright colorful colors, and there's also some neutral colors. You can definitely do a lot of different looks with this palette. She's one of my favorite makeup artists here on YouTube, and I was so excited to be able to get my hands on this this year. I know recently Nikki has come out with her own brand called Nimya. Let me know in the comments down below if you have tried it before and what your favorite product is. I definitely want to buy some of that and test it out for all of you. Now to another brand. This one is actually new. It just came out earlier this year, but I have been blown away with every single launch they have done. And that is Makeup by Mario. He is another very well-known celebrity makeup artist. He is best known for his work on the Kardashians. I was so excited to hear that he was coming out with a makeup brand this year. I was really interested to see what he was going to bring to the table. And he has definitely come out with some very innovative products. Some of my favorite are his cream makeup sticks. This one is the Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in Light. I love using this as a cream bronzer. I get layers on top of other makeup so beautifully and I feel like it's just so nice and creamy. I love using this in my everyday makeup routine. Also the cream blushes are one of my favorite. I am obsessed with blush and I love cream ones. His colors are just so beautiful. This is a really nice hot pink and this one called Pale Petal is perfect for the everyday use. I just love how creamy and pigmented these are. I love how I can just build this product up. If I want to use them for a glam makeup routine, I can do that. Or I can just use them in my everyday routine. So his powder blushes are amazing. These are some of my favorites, Desert Rose and Mellow Mauve. I just love these shades. Now this is his Master Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I talked about this in my 2021 makeup gift guide. I feel like this is just such a staple for any makeup artist kit. Who doesn't need a neutral matte palette? This one definitely has every shade you need. You could literally just have this neutral palette in your kit and you are good to go. There is definitely a shade that you can use on every skin tone and you can create so many looks with this from neutral eyes just for going out in the day or something for going out at night. This has definitely been one of my favorite neutral palettes of the year. I also love this product from him. This is the Master Metal Eyeshadow Palette. I was super excited when this came out on the market. I had never really seen anything like it before and I was super excited to try it out. How this works is you just use this little scraper that it came with, scrape out a little bit of product into the dish right here, and then you just add a couple drops of his mixing medium into it, and then you end up with a super pretty liquid eyeshadow liner type product. This has definitely been a fun product to use. And another product that I have loved, I know, I'm so sorry for saying this, I know they have been sold out everywhere, is the Charlotte Tilbury Blush and Contour Wands. Now these products did go viral on TikTok a couple months ago. The natural glowy makeup trend has been coming back in 2021, and I think these products are great to achieve that look. Which is why I think they went so viral. I have only used these products a couple of times, but every time I have, I have loved it. I love this blush color. This is the shade Pinkgasm. It's just the perfect pink color for my skin tone, and I feel like it just looks super natural. 
and this contour wand is just amazing too I think it's a beautiful color I think it goes on so smoothly and just looks so nice on the skin and I feel like these two products blend into my other makeup very well it all just seamlessly blends together and looks like one product and we all know if Michaela recommends something we just hop on and buy it I don't even finish watching the video before I already purchased it because I know by the time I'm done, it's going to be sold out and I'm going to have to wait months to get it again. So I hop on as soon as I can. And these definitely were one of the products that I didn't do that for. And I regretted it because I went scouring all over the internet. Literally miles away from my house trying to figure out where these products were in stock. And they were nowhere. Literally, there was like a one for like 80 bucks on Amazon. And like one, like three hours away from my house. But you know, we got to do what we got to do to get the makeup. And these products are definitely one that you are going to fight for. I will definitely be using these a lot in 2022. Now staying on the TikTok topic and products that were very hard to get. This was another one that sold out in nearly a day. The Glamlight X Michaela palette. I was so beyond excited to hear that Michaela was coming out with a collaboration. She's literally the queen of TikTok, the queen of makeup, and I was just waiting for her to launch something of her own. She is honestly just one of the best makeup artists on TikTok, and I feel like she has just really changed the beauty community and added some positive vibes into it. As we know, the beauty community has been a little bit vicious over the past couple of years. Some shade has been thrown, but I feel like she just really created a happy and safe, positive place on TikTok. And I love this packaging. I feel like it's simple and not in your face, but it definitely has wow factors. I mean, like, I've never seen a palette that has glitter moving inside the actual palette. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> This palette is gorgeous. I have used this so many times. I am obsessed. Formula. I feel like it was just super easy to blend out. They blended so nicely together and they just looked so pretty on the eye. Love the thought that she put into the packaging, the colors, all the shade names. I feel like this is just really personal to Michaela. The wide variety of colors. There's like so many looks that you can create with this. I think this is another palette that is like a must have in your collection. Even if you don't like TikTok or if you don't like Michaela, I just really love this product overall. Now they also came out with lipsticks and lashes and highlighters in the Michaela collection, but I definitely think the palette was the winner product for me. With this next product, I'm going to sound super like bougie. Uh, I don't know. It was definitely a splurge and I was definitely skeptical buying it just because of how much money it was, but I love it. I am wearing it today. Pause the video, comment down below if you can guess what product it is that I am going to show next. I went for it, I bought it, I spent the money, and I bought the Tom Ford Foundations. So I saw Michaela review these and say how much she loved them, but I was just not really ready to spend the $87. Yes, this is almost a $100 foundation, but I have to say it's worth it. It's worth it. I do think I would repurchase this once I am out. I do think I would. I am wearing the stick one today. Now the difference between these two, this one is a liquid, has a soft matte finish, and has a light to medium coverage. This one is a buildable medium to full coverage and is in stick form. Now I know when I bought my NARS foundation, I thought that was the best shade for me and it was not gonna get any closer, but I think Tom Ford has won the prize for the foundation that matches me the best. It does not look cakey at all. It just looks like my skin, but better. And I love how well other products went on on top of this. I would try some other Tom Ford products. That's how blown away I am with these. I will definitely be using these, and these will probably be one of my new favorite foundations. I am blessed by the lash gods. I have beautiful lashes. I am so thankful for that, but I still love mascara. I love trying out different ones. And some of my favorites this year have been the Make It Big from Morphe 
and the Rare Beauty. I feel like this one just gives me so much volume. It makes my lashes look so big and full. I'm actually wearing this one today. I love topping this one on top of a lengthening one. So I'll make sure my lashes are super long and lengthened and then I will top this one on top and make them super volumized and full. Rare Beauty is another one that I have been loving. Rare Beauty just came out this year, but I have loved every product that their brand has came out with. And I've been loving this mascara. I love like the wand shape. This is like honestly one of my favorite shapes of wands, but I just love this one. I feel like it doesn't make my lashes clumpy at all. And I feel like it just looks so pretty when I put it on. I would definitely say out of all the ones I've tried this year, those two have been my favorite. So that is all my favorite products from 2021. So let me know in the comments down below what some of your favorite products were from 2021. Is there any products that I missed out on and that I should be trying? And once again, Happy New Year. I hope to have so many amazing videos and so much content coming out on all my social medias this year. And yeah, that's it for this video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!